Tuesday, day 73, belly blaster workout. So we're gonna work on our stomachs today, our abs. Um, we got three rounds, 12 exercises, 30 seconds each. No equipment needed, none whatsoever. All body weight today. Okay, so we have crunches, we have in and out crunches, we have bicycles, toe touches, crunches with a leg lift, uh, scissor kicks, flutter kicks, forward plank, side plank on both sides, starfish crunch, oblique crunches, and windmills. So we have 12 exercises, 30 seconds, three rounds. So for all my beginners that are just starting with me today, this is your first time, I suggest you do one round. If you can do more, great. For all my intermediate and advanced, you better be doing the three rounds. Um, all right, let's get started. We're gonna warm up a little bit. So set your watches. I set mine to core. Okay. All right, let's do it. So we'll warm up a little bit. I'm gonna jog in place. <clears throat> Good. Couple torso twisted twists. Good. Couple hip openers. Interlocking your hands over your head, going to the left. Good. Straight up, lean back a little bit if you can. To the right. Good. Coming down to the middle. Side to side lunges. Open up those hips a little bit. Good. All right, <clears throat> high knees. If you can't hop, just march in place. If you're just joining, day 73, belly blaster workout couple squats so all uh, ab exercises today three rounds 12 exercises 30 seconds each no equipment needed all right so we're gonna lay down on the ground bring my timer over here <clears throat> again it's gonna be 30 seconds each exercise All right, so what we're doing first is crunches, 30 second crunches. Here we go. Laying on your back, hands behind your head, coming up and down, just like that. Three, two, one, go. Remember, keep that, push that pelvis to the floor. You don't want to space in between your back and the mat. those abs, don't, don't pull on your neck. Keep going, three, two, good. Perfect, all right, we have in and out crunches, 30 seconds, so in and out is knees to chest, knees to elbows, I'm sorry, taking out. The higher you go, the easier it is. The lower you go, the harder it is. 30 seconds, go. In and out. In and out. Remember, keeping that pelvic to floor. No space in between the back and the back. The lower you go, the harder it gets. Three. Go. 
Good, perfect. All right, bicycles are next, laying on your back. A modified version is alternating sides. Um, more difficult, feet up in the air, alternating sides. All right, 30 seconds, here we go. Three, two, one, good. Remember, keeping that pelvic to the floor. Woo! Keep going. 13. Eight. Woo! Gotta take the sweatshirt off. All right, uh, we have toe touches next. All right, so legs are all the way up in the air, reaching for your toes. Legs up. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. If you feel like your neck's bothering you, just put your hands behind your head. Little movement. Fifteen. Good. Perfect. All right. We have crunch with leg lift. So what you're going to do, you're going to lift your legs up. Okay. So this one, you might have to support your back a little bit here. Up, crunch. So. Okay, we'll do it that way. So hands are behind your head, uh, your back. Okay, you're gonna lift your legs up and then you're gonna crunch. If it's too much on your neck, just do the leg lifts, okay? Or you could do the leg lifts and push your legs up. All right, here we go, 30 seconds. Go. Crunch, leg lift, crunch, leg lift, crunch, leg lift, crunch. Woo. Five. Good, perfect. All right, we got scissor kicks. So hands are underneath your butt. Scissors, your legs are going like this, crossing over each other, okay? All right, here we go. Three, two, let me see, see you better on this side. Three, two, one, go. So hands under your butt, side to side. You can go higher if you have to. Head up if it's a little bit easier. Ten. Three, two, good. Perfect. All right, we got flutter kicks. So again, hands are under your butt again. Hands under your butt. <clears throat> and you're fluttering, so your legs are going like this, like swimmers. All right, ready? Three, two, one, 30 seconds, go. Hands are behind your butt to support your back. So you're holding the plank, plank position on your forearms for 30 seconds. All right, here we go. So regular plank on your forearms. If you can't hold yourself all the way up, you go to your knees. Go. 
So again, modified is like this, and dance like this. Remember, back is flat. You don't want to be too low. You don't want to be all the way up. Flat as a board. I should be able to balance a cup of coffee on your back without it falling. Good. Five. Good, perfect. All right, now we're gonna do a side plank. So you're gonna get on your side. Okay, so a modified version. <clears throat> Arm is right underneath your shoulder. You don't want it too far out or too far in. Okay, you're gonna hurt your shoulder that way. Modified, knees staying on the ground, tucking your hip up, holding like that. If you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, feet up, stacked on top of each other. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Good, go. 30 seconds. Squeezing that hip that's on the bottom. Squeeze it. Again, if, as you get tired, your hips are gonna start to sag down. So you have to make sure you keep that bottom hip up, tight, breathing, 10. Five. Good, other side. Right into it. Same thing on your knees for modified, stacked for a regular plank. Go, 30 seconds. Again, one side is gonna feel a little bit more challenging than the other. Just fight through the, fight through the burn. Breathing in and out. We got four more exercises to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, good. All right, we have starfish crunch. So what you're doing is you're laying on your back, okay? So what you're gonna do is arms are out, okay? You're gonna bring your leg up, do like a toe touch, and then come back down. Other side, and back down, okay? Ready, three, two, one, go. Alternating sides. Good, bringing your shoulders off the ground. Tuck your chin in, if that helps. Or you could look up, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Five. Good. All right, we got oblique crunches. All right, so laying on your back, your right leg is gonna go over your left leg, crossing over, okay? Right arm is down, left arm is behind your head. You're coming across, okay? So do not bring your knee to your elbow and keep your knee where it is, you come up. If you can't touch your elbow, that's fine. Just make the movement. All right, here we go. We got 30 seconds on both sides, go. All the way down, all the way up. Good, other side, right into it. Left arm is down, right arm is up. Left leg is over your right leg, crossing your body. Use those abs. Windmills, it's kind of a little bit of a stretch, but you're going to be laying down. Okay, laying down. 
So you can put your hands under your hips if you need to. So legs are gonna start at the top and you're gonna turn. Actually, you can't put your legs underneath this way. And then you're gonna come up and turn your body. If you have to place your hands at your side, you can to support your back. All right, here we go. Windmills, go. Good, all the way around, and to the side. Good, all the way up, to the side. Don't drop your knees to the ground. A little couple of inches off the ground, and then back up again. Seven. Good job. All right, 30 second break. Round one is done. You have two more rounds. Same exercises. So grab some water. We have 50, we're already 15 minutes in. All right, we got 10 seconds to go and we're starting our crunches again. Hands behind your head. Crunch time. Go. Remember, chin to the ceiling. Don't pull on your neck. Your neck should not be doing anything. It should all be here. See, I can even do it without the hands, but my hands are just guiding my head. Remember, sinking that pelvic to floor. There should be no space here. All right, what do we got? In and out crunches. In and kick out. All right, three, two, one, go. In, out. In, out. The higher you go, it's a little bit easier. The lower you go, it gets a little bit harder. Remember, still maintaining that pelvic to floor. No space between the back and the mat. Very important. Good. All right, we got bicycles next. 30 seconds, go. Remember, modified, alternating sides. If you wanna do the regular one, feet up in the air, crossing your body. If you have to change back and forth, you can. Sometimes I do that, I pick my feet up off the ground, and then I go back to the modified, and then I go back to the regular. Again, also, you can stretch in between. If you reach your arms over your head and stretch your feet out, just stretch the, the midsection. It helps a lot in between sets. All right, what's next? Toe touches, legs up in the air, and you're gonna reach for your toes. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Again, if your neck's bothering you, just put your hands behind your head and just do an elevated leg crunch. 15. Seven. Good. All right, what do we got next? We have crunches with leg lifts. So you're gonna do a leg raise and then you're gonna do a crunch. So once your legs come up, that's when you're gonna crunch. So you wanna keep your back supported the entire time. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, good, so leg raise, crunch. Legs down, legs up, crunch. Down, crunch. Down, crunch. Down, crunch. 13, crunch. If you can't add 
that crunch, just do a regular leg raise, just like this. Good. All right, what do we got next? We have scissor kicks. Legs are going like this. <clears throat> We're on, if you're just joining, day 73, belly blaster workout. We're already on the second round. If you just join, just join in right now because we got another round coming up after. All right, we're on scissor kicks. So hands are underneath your butt. Every exercise is 30 seconds. All right, three, two, one, go. Scissors. Remember, keeping that pelvic to floor. Hands are behind your butt to support your back, especially with everyone with Anyone with back issues like myself? Ten. Three. Good. Flutter kicks. Legs are going like this, like little swimmers. Thirty seconds. Here we go. Again, hands are under your butt to support your back. Three, two, one. Go. You can tuck your head into your chin. I mean, your chin into your chest. If not, you can lean back. It's up to you. Whatever you feel more comfortable doing. 14. Seven, six, five, four. Good. Perfect. All right, we have front forward planks on your forearms. Again, the modified version you can say on your knees, the regular version on your feet. All right, 30 second hold. It should be flat as a top, tabletop. You should, I don't want to see your butt in the air and I don't want to see hype, you hyperextending. Flat as a board. I should be able to balance a water bottle or a coffee cup on your back without it falling. All right, here we go. Remember, none of this, none of this. Right in the middle, squeezing your stomach, squeezing your legs, breathing in and out. Make sure your hips aren't turning flat as possible. 10. Stomach tight, breathing. Four. Good, all right, now into the side plank. Again, modified version on your knees would be like this. Make sure your arm isn't out all the way or tucked in too much. You want it right underneath your shoulder. You know, I don't want you to get any shoulder issues. If you're out too far, you're going to hurt yourself. So right underneath your shoulder and go. So modified on your knees, regular side plank. Your feet are stacked, tucking the bottom hip in, squeezing, breathing and squeezing. Try to keep your back straight, don't hunch over. You can even put your arm up if you want. Breathing, squeezing that bottom hip. Six, five, four, three, two, good. Switch sides. Again, one side might feel a little bit weaker than the other, it's okay. Go. Remember, modified on your knees, regular stacked. Feet are stacked, squeezing that bottom hip back straight, squeezing and breathing. <sighs> Try not to, a lot of people, as you get tired, your hips will start to sink down. Squeeze that bottom hip, squeeze it. <sighs> squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, good. All right, we got the starfish crunch laying in a T position, or actually over your head like this. Legs are out, spread out. Okay? So what you're gonna do, bring your right hand to your left foot and back down. Okay? Three, two, one, go. Alternating sides. Starfish crunch. Shoulders should come off the ground slightly. 
when you go up. Ten. Two, one, good, perfect. All right, two more exercises and then we're done with round two and then we got one more round to go. Oblique crunches laying on your back. So we're gonna do 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side. So right leg over your left leg, right arm down, left arm behind your head, coming across. Do not bring your knee to your elbow. Keep your knee where it is and then you're just coming up. You don't have to touch. Just mimic the movement. Use those abs. You should not feel it in your neck. That means you're pulling on your neck. You want to avoid that. Your hand should just be guiding your head up. Keep going. Five. Good, switch sides right into it, guys. <clears throat> left arm down, right hand behind your head, left leg over your right leg. Breathing. Perfect. All right, last exercise is the windmill. So hands are at your sides, okay? And all you're doing, you're starting at the top. You can have a little bend in your knees. It doesn't have to be completely straight. You're gonna turn your body to the right, and then you're gonna go back up to the left, okay? So you can keep your arms in a, either a T position or a little bit lower. Here we go. Just think of it as a stretch. All the way down, and then over the top to the other side. So when your legs go down, you can look to that direction. So right, over the top, to the left. Over the top, right, seven. Good job. All right, second break. Take a break. 30 second break, grab some water, walk around, don't sit down. Um, hmm. Grab some water, walk around. All right, we got one more round. This is the third round we're on right now. We're 26 minutes in. <clears throat> Last round. 12 exercises, 30 seconds, and you're done. We're gonna stretch a little bit, and we're good to go. All right, are we ready? Crunches on your back. Before we do that, I want you to lay down, stretch your arms over your head, stretch your feet like a stretch arm strong. So you're gonna breathe in, breathe out. All right, here we go. Crunches, 30 seconds, hands behind your head, go. Chin to the ceiling, do not use, do not pull on that neck. Remember, pelvic to floor too, don't forget. There should be no space between your back and your mat. Good, all right, we got the in and out crunches. Ready, go, in and out. Good, the higher you go, it's a little bit easier. The lower you go, the harder it is. Just don't touch the floor. Keep in that pelvic to floor. Good, perfect. Toe to, uh, bi I'm sorry, bicycles. All right, here we go. Again, modified, alternating sides, okay? And the regular bicycles, you can even go back and forth if you want, which I've been doing. Five. 
Good. Toe touches. Legs are up in the air. You're reaching for your toes. Go. If you can't do that, just crunching up and down. Crunching up and down. to leg lift so we're doing the hands under the butt leg raise so you're dropping your legs down coming up crunch with it here we go hands under your butt to support your back starting at the top okay so go down crunch just don't touch the ground when you go down couple inches off the ground Got this, come on, third round, we're almost done. A lot of abs today. Abs are always on Tuesday. Core, abs, all that good stuff. All right. What do we got? Scissors, legs, alternating sides. Hands under your butt. Three, two, one, go. You can tuck your chin into your chest if that helps. If not, you can just press your head back. It's up to you. It's up to you. Whatever feels more comfortable, whatever's not straining your neck. Ten. Try to go a little bit wider with the scissors. Good. All right, we got flutters, so same thing except you're going up and down like this. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Hands under your butt to support your back. Same thing, you can tuck your chin into your chest. Or you can lay back. Whatever one works. You can alternate. Ten. Good, perfect. All right, we have forward plank on your forearms. We're almost done, guys, almost done. A couple more exercises. Forearm plank. Again, modified knees on ground. Regular plank, feet off the, knees off the ground. Go. Remember, I can balance a coffee cup or a water bottle on your back. You're doing it right. You don't want to tilt to the side. No butt in the air. No hyperextending. Flat as a tabletop. Breathing. Squeezing your stomach. Squeezing your legs. <sighs> Breathing. Ten. Good. All right. Side plank. Right into it. So arm is tucked underneath your shoulder. Again, modified is on your knees. Tucking that hip up. Regular is feet stacked. No knees on the ground. Go. Remember, you're tucking that bottom hip in. Back is straight. If you want, you can put your arm up. Squeezing that hip. Focus on the squeeze. No matter if you're on your knees or your feet. Five. Good, right into the other side, go. Remember, modified on your knees, regular on your, stacked on your feet. Tucking that hip up. One side's gonna feel a little bit awkward, like this side is my awkward side. Three more exercises to go. Starfish crunches. How are we doing so far? Mm. All right, so laying down in the starfish position. Opposite hand to opposite foot. 
Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, alternate. Shoulder coming off the ground when you go up. Right leg over left, right arm down, left hand behind your head, crossing your body. Go. Almost done. We have obliques on each side, and then we got windmills, and then we're stretching, and you're all done. Almost done. We're about almost 35 minutes in. Not bad. Perfect ab day. 30 minutes of abs. For 40 minutes of abs, not bad. Good, other side, right into it. Again, you can do these hundreds a day if your diet, if you're not eating good. You're not gonna see anything in that ab area. You have to make sure you maintain Clean eating, doing cardio, and you add some abs in too. Abs are made in the kitchen. All right, um, windmills. Good, up, and down. Good, slow and control. Up, and down. Up, down, good, all the way up, four, good, perfect guys, awesome job, all right, so I want you to do a little stretch arm strong stretch, we just completed three rounds, we're going to stretch a little bit and then you guys are done. 36 minutes of core. All right, here we go. So, <clears throat> stretching your arms towards the wall, stretching your feet towards the wall, breathing in and squeezing. And breathe out. Relax. Breathing in, stretching. And breathe out. One more. Good job. All right, arms in a T position, crossing your right leg over your left. Good, all right, so trying to push that right shoulder down to the ground, looking to the left. If you want, you can put your hand on your leg. Good, other side, so in the T. Right leg is straight, crossing your left leg over, T position, and you wanna try and push that left shoulder down, looking to the right. Trying to get that left shoulder to the ground. If you can't get there yet, it's fine. Just breathe into the stretch. You might not get it today. It could happen over a couple days. Good, all right, bring your feet together, knees together. You're gonna hug yourself. Rock back and forth. Good, stretch out your right leg, grab your left leg, squeeze. Good, other side. Stretch your left leg out, grab your right leg. Squeeze your knee in. Good. All right, going on all fours. Child pose, so knees spread out a little bit. Or if you're on a mat, go as wide as the mat. You're gonna sit back, hands forward, and you're gonna tuck your head 
between your arms. Relax your shoulders. Breathing. Good, go to the left. They'll turn your hands to the left. Staying in that position on your feet. Good, going to the other side, to the right. Good, okay. Now, if you can, sit on your heels, put your hands behind you, okay? And you're gonna lift your hips up, stretching out those hip flexors, the quads. You can lean your head back if you want. Breathing into it. Good. One more time. Good. All right, standing up, going into downward dog. So hands out, feet up. Okay. Talk again, tucking your head in between your arms. Good. Walking your hands back. Okay, now slowly coming up. Good. All right, let's do a couple shoulder shrugs. <clears throat> Shoulders shrugs forward. All right, tapping yourself on the back. Good. All right, guys. 41 minutes. All done. Thank you for watching. I'm going to be posting this to my page and on YouTube shortly. So if you couldn't do it at this specific time, you can always do it later. And tomorrow is leg day. I, I'm gonna be going earlier again, probably 10.30 again, maybe 10, 10.30 tomorrow, leg day. Make sure you have some sort of household equipment near you. If you don't, it's okay. You can still do legs without any equipment. But if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging for yourself, I suggest having some sort of household item or weights near you. It could be anything. Um, all right, on that note, enjoy this beautiful day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.